Okay guys, with Stranger Things Season 3 officially being uploaded on Netflix, it is time to stop and rank all three seasons of Stranger Things from the worst to the best. So there's no question that ever since Stranger Things hit Netflix, I think it was what, in 2016? There's no doubt that it has been one of Netflix's most popular shows that the streaming service has seen. Actually, I think it was its first most popular show, and every season has been really good. Unfortunately, there has been some that have been better than the others, and there's only three seasons, so this is going to be a relatively short ranking. So coming in at number three is Stranger Things Season 2. Although I did really enjoy the heck out of Stranger Things Season 2, I think where it really got me was that Lost Sister episode. I think it was like episode 7 or 8 in that season. Um, um, and it just really fell out of place. I felt like that Eleven going to Chicago, I know that she was out there meeting a girl that was in the facility with her when she was a little girl and stuff like that. It's someone that she became familiar with from that particular aspect of her life. But ultimately, I just felt like that that episode really was unnecessary because that's never brought up again. Even in the new season, it's never brought up again. So I feel like that that was just an episode. That was just an additional episode because season two was nine episodes. I feel like that, that was just one that they threw in to fill it in just to make it a little bit longer. Although we got a little bit of a backstory of it throughout season two, it's never really touched on again. But other than that, I do enjoy season two, but it's really that aspect of it that kind of shied away from the good of the show, in my opinion. So in that way, season two comes in last place. Coming in at number two is season one. Now season one, it was very hard going back and forth between this and obviously season three only because this is the season that we got introduced to these characters. This is where we got all of Stranger Things from and the whole Demogorgon thing and everything about season one is absolutely great. I don't think that I have a complaint about it. So really I should say that it's a tie for first, but if I had to rank it, season one ends up coming in number two just because there are so many more aspects I'm going to talk about in a second with season three. But I mean season one, the last two episodes of that, I was completely hooked in. I thought that the first six episodes had delivered on what it was going to be, but the last two episodes are hands down phenomenal in season one. When Elle literally uses her mind to flip that van over in uh, episode seven, absolutely awesome. I think from there on out, I absolutely loved the remainder of the show because like I said, even though I knew I really enjoyed it uh, from the first six episodes, it was seven and eight of season one that really, really got me invested into it. But coming in first place is Stranger Things season three. Now I'm sure if you guys have seen my review by now, it is up on my channel. So if you guys haven't had the chance to go and check it out, go check it out because Literally season three is great from the first episode to the last episode. And I mean, this season is just a little bit more violent than other seasons. I think that may be one of the reasons I liked it a lot too, because it is incredibly violent. It's more gory than we had seen in season one and two. They really didn't stop at anything this season. It still did a great job at keeping the nostalgia aspect to the show. I think that the characters are better than they've ever been. I mean, yeah, season one is the one that gave us these characters. It's the one that introduced introduced us to these characters, but what do you like about characters in shows? The fact that they grow and develop, and season three really shows that they've grown and developed. I mean, they went from being little kids playing Dungeons and Dragons in Mike's basement to being these teenagers, and I get it, that's how life works, but we get to see more of that aspect. We get to see love in the air. We get to see a lot of different relationships going on, and that's one of the things I really enjoyed about it because everyone is trying to solve this case in different aspects and then in the finale they all come together. The writing throughout season three I think is the best that it's been in the show. So season three is my absolute favorite. I like the nostalgia. I like the writing. I, I liked what they did in particular with Billy's character. Billy was a character who was introduced in season two with his sister Maxine and we get to see a whole lot of Maxine but we also get much more Billy in season three and I really enjoyed what they did with this character. I really enjoyed watching throughout the course of these eight episodes how these characters were going to go about certain elements and it's just phenomenal. So Stranger Things season three comes in first place. So that's my Stranger Things season ranking. Post your guys' comments down below. Let me know what do you guys rank Stranger Things? What's your favorite seasons? What's your favorite scenes? Whatever it is guys, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you guys like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers and I will see you guys in my next video.